firefighter police officer, right now the state pays 22% of their salary into the defined benefit plan. Now we're paying a modest 19% to their three. For every teacher and general employee, it's almost 10%. Now we're paying a modest seven to their three. I, I don't think we went crazy. I think we simply um, um, helped make the plan uh, self-sufficient and not take that $496 billion general revenue cut, which would have come somewhere else. Where? Maybe it wouldn't have, maybe more would have come from you, Brian, which would have. That's correct. That's correct. It's gonna, but you know what we have to do? Um, is maybe make more money out of nursing homes, or make more money out of disabled children, or more money out of whatever. But at the end of the day, the $496 million to fund the pension plan uh, was something we just could no longer afford to do. And secret to anybody in here who's got an employee, we probably saved your pension plan. Um, by doing this, because now you have, have skin in that game. I know it's a hard apple to swallow, but if you don't believe me, let's go to lunch. Uh, we'll go Dutch, and we'll talk about it. Because although a lot of people wanted me to go a lot further, I think the modest changes where we save the state about $1.1 billion is, is going to save your retirement plan. Yes, Frank. Well, on that note, Representative Wirtz, I, I, I'm curious, though, about something you said about um, Sheriff Parker and the teachers. You said yes. that you took the 3% away you actually left the money there, for instance, for Sheriff Parker to do it. So in effect, did you not actually shore up? Did you, in fact, by not giving... The stimulus for the local? Well, you, you left the money with Sheriff Parker, so haven't you still left an unfunded liability in the retirement system? No, um, but it's a great question. And uh, what, what uh, Mr. Zulatis is saying is that um, the 3% contribution stayed with the employer, not with the school board, because that's always been funded by the state. Uh, so there's no windfall to the school board, uh, which I thought you were getting at first, like, but you didn't. Um, uh, but everyone else, um, municipalities, counties, uh, sheriff's offices, that 3% that the employee now pays stays local. But for the other uh, 500,000 state workers, that 3% stays with the state. So who was paying this before you made all these changes? The taxpayers. The taxpayers. We're paying for their pension plans. And you call a cop. Thank, thank you, Tom. And let, let me... That's let, let, unfair. That's not... That, let, that's let, me, let me... Let me... No one drafted that officer. I love our police and fire, but th don't give me that. No one drafted him. That's, let, a, let that's me, a nice job to have. Let me tell you how uh, the state retired this, because if, if you're not part of it, this is... You take the number of years that you've worked in the system by a multiplier. Okay, so let's say I've worked in the system 10 years, and I'm a school teacher. A school teacher makes 1.6, is it? 1.6, I think? So it's 10 times 1.6 is 16%. And, uh, it's, you know, three, let's say they work 30 years, because I guess that, you know, I don't know how teachers work 30 years, but they, they do it. 16 times 3 is, what, 48? Okay? And their average of their high 5, is it high 5 or 7? Well, after my bill passed, it's now high 8. High 8, okay. So let's say the average of their high 8 is $50,000. Okay? I don't know, it sounds about right. Then no, they would no, get no, no. For school teachers? much lower. After thirty years? Yes. No. Can I have the estimates? What were teachers making what? thirty can, years ago? It's a, it's a, I'm, it, I'm a public it, school teacher. This is the person that runs the uh, okay. numbers for. Yeah, it's close. So I'm going to go. Okay. It's just, close. Okay. So no. half of fifty thousand dollars a year is twenty five thousand dollars, and then we put a cap on the cola for a number of years. Five years. Five years. But after that, it would eventually grow. So that's how the retirement system works. It's number of years of service times the multiplier, and that multiplier is different now. If you're a police officer, that multiplier is 3%. If you're a judge, it's 3.2, I think. 3.3. 3.3, okay? But generally, the bulk of the people on the retirement system are 1.6, okay? So that's, that's how the retirement and that's how the defined benefit works. Uh, it's number of years in service times the multiplier times the average of the last. And there were a whole bunch of schemes working, and it's not nice to say, but I'm going to say it nonetheless. Let me tell you what FIRE was doing to game the system, because they were. They would take that last five years, and they would work a whole bunch of overtime. They would go to the younger folks and say, hey, I'll tell you what. I need to work all these extra, sh thus driving up, let's say they have got their 50% in there, so you can't mess with that number, you can't mess with the number of years, but you can mess with that high five, thus inflating their last high five quite a bit, and thus their payout being huge. 
And we capped, I think the bill capped the total number. Hopefully it capped the total number. And the other bill did that, the local pension bill. The local pension, yes, sorry. The local pension bill topped the way that you game the system the same way that we top, uh, you could have gained the deferred, the drop program where you got off the system and you came back uh, on, we're finding problems. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But that's something that it did, and that's the retirement system in a nutshell if you're not part of it. It's a very, very, very good system. That top information is me. I ran the bill. Um, please call me. Uh, if you call and Bethany or one of the ladies answers, they will get you, they will get me to call you back, and we'll 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 talk about it. We may never agree that it was the right thing to do. Uh, in fact, a lot of folks tell me I should have gone the defined contribution plan versus the defined benefit plan. There's a lot of merit to that. You know why I didn't though? I'll tell you why I didn't. Because it's 16.7 billion dollar unfunded liability. And until we are 100% funded uh, versus 88% uh, funded, if we switch and those new employees don't go on the DB plan, I am simply. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I'm simply acting like a congressman and kicking it down the road. Because in 22 years, um, we can't fund the defined benefit plan if we don't put new employees in. However, we do a smoothing of five years. So once 08 and 09 come off, we may be 100% funded, we can relook at it. But until it's a uh, defined benefit plan is fully funded, switching to a defined contribution plan midstream would be catastrophic by kicking the can on the road. Keep in mind, we won't let any of the municipalities, Satellite Beach, you can't join FRS until you're 100% funded. Why would we do the same thing? So we, that's why I didn't go to a DC plan. Okay, God bless. Next question. Okay, where are the jobs? <laughs> um, Not at Workman Mortgage, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, government doesn't create jobs. Well, we do, and then you pay for them. So those are those aren't the good jobs that they're out that we're out there looking for. The jobs, uh, government's job is to create an environment in which is conducive for business owners to go out there. And we made a whole bunch of whether it be as simple as uh, tax incentives for the space industry this year or in the previous uh, previous year, or we continued the film credit. Uh, we offer a 25%, I think it's 25%, and it may be on the total number, but there's, I think, 11 or $12 million in there this year for companies to come in and shoot films in the, the state of Florida. They spend millions of dollars. A percentage of what they actually pay in taxes, they get back. So we do things like that that actually create jobs in the state of Florida. We, we, we are not responsible. When, when, when the state of Florida create jobs, I will tell you, that's generally not a good thing for the environment because it's your tax dollars. That, so we could create, I know Governor Scott promised 700,000 jobs, we could create it tomorrow. We would just have to, that 6% sales tax would just have to be 12%. Our job, I believe, as legislators, is to make the environment and, and, and hopefully, it, hopefully it works out. Will it? You know, we'll, we'll, come next election, we'll find out. Uh, the uh, the unemployment rate you saw just ticked up. Our, most of our bills go into effect July first. We 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 it won't happen July second, but uh, we we will certainly see how it how it takes place. Uh, uh, Governor Scott, who's in the business of creating private sector jobs, signed off on the budget. So the reality of the situation. Really, just because the unemployment ticker goes up, or, you know, the, the rate goes uh, down or whatever, um, doesn't that just mean that people were kicked off unemployment because my husband's about to be kicked off unemployment, and that'll make your unemployment ticker, you know, he's one less person, but no, there's no still, jobs. If he has to go back to work, uh, he still counts. He's looking, he has to keep looking. Um, I, listen, I, I don't know what to do, this whole budget has been about trying to get your job, husband back to work. Um, here's good news. Uh, first of all, this is next one's your question, so we're going to get to it. And then when we get this far down, we get a whole new topic. So I'm really excited about that. So let's keep going so we get to, to, to Ray's question. Um, how did you arrive at the 15% pro, uh, annual increase for property insurance, and why? Is not insurance a product sold to a buyer at an agreed-upon price? Uh, Mary, great, great question. I'm sure he's thrilled that you asked it. Um, uh, we arrived at the 15% because based on the actuarial tables that we use and the actuarial studies that we require every single year from every single insurer in this state. Um, they have to have so much reserves versus so much uh, capital, uh, so much um, equity and, and, and et cetera. And um, we factor in the cost of reinsurance. And reinsurance, I mean, I, I think you guys watch the news. Uh, it, it seems as if uh, Armageddon is coming. I mean, the number of catastrophes in the state, in the country alone is killing us. And the cost of reinsurance has increased. 
Um, the 15% is only allowed if they increase their cost of reinsurance in the secondary market. So you may not see uh, State Farm and USAA and the others raise their rates. Um, they certainly are not, uh, they're not just going to arbitrarily raise them 15%, like Citizens is going to raise them 10%. They have to. Um, um, the other ones still have to go through OIR, uh, the Office of Insurance Regulation, to justify their increase. And this particular increase is to be justified on the cost of reinsurance. That's the answer. Um, uh, now, we could also continue the debate uh, that I, I would say, why do they have to go before OIR and beg for a rate increase when the free market should dictate that? But that's not the reality we live in, uh, uh, sadly. The reality we live in includes insurance regulation. Um, and um, so that's, you may or may not see an increase. If you, don't, if you have citizens, um, uh, you're, you're going up 10%. If you don't have citizens, you may or may not go up up to ten per, up to fifteen percent. Uh, yes, sir. I didn't write that, but that's a good. Question. I know. I knew. I knew, you, I knew you. Thank Mary. Um, the question I have isn't reinsurance by the major insurance companies a shell game? I've heard that. Yes, they go get reinsurance, then they come back and say, "Oh, we have to raise our insurance." Oh, the company is insuring you. And again, my question is, they get this 15%, there's no longer an insurance commission that reviews the rates. In, you know, there is. We did not do it with that. Not doing that. They just automatically get it. No. They still have to go before OIR. They have to just prove that they had a, a, an increase in the reinsurance. The insurance company, State Farm or whoever, have to, in order to go up, even based on this new law, they have to go back through OIR and show their cost of reinsurance exceeded what it was so supposed I to be. Office of Insurance, insurance, insurance Regulation. Who Sorry. Who regulates the reinsurance? Um, that's, that's, uh, they're, they're that's on, the world. They're, they're primarily world. unregulated because they're, they're international. That's point. Well, we're, we're this actually is a good argument to, to uh, over, that we are overregulated the insurance market. 